I'm an unconscious manifester, and I wonder how much I misunderstand myself and believe I'm a projector. That's, um, that's an interesting question. It's kind of not a question, but let me speak into that just a little bit. What I'm going to say is that when we say you're unconscious in your definition or you're an unconscious manifester, what Eileen is saying is that the connections that connect all of these energies that bring this motor at the bottom, the root center, up to the throat center, is that some of these connections are unconscious. So whenever we have unconscious definitions, sometimes we're not as consciously aware of the energy um, as we would be if it was all black in the chart. So anything that's red, we call it unconscious. Anything that's black in the chart, we call it conscious. I'm a little bit different in how I teach about that because what I teach when I look at a chart is that the definition of the intention of your soul is in the conscious part. So that's in all these black parts. This is where your soul, the code for your soul purpose is contained. The code for your life purpose your, is contained in the red pieces. And the more we journey through life, especially after we cross that 40 year mark, the more we are conscious of what is unconscious in the chart. There's an awakening that happens as we cross into the midlife that allows us to be more conscious of who we are and how we operate. I look at your chart and I see the thing that I think maybe is the most confusing to a certain degree about you feeling and sensing who you are is not so much the manifestor piece as it is two things. Number one, you have an open G center and you have an open G center with the 15 underneath it. Now the 15 is the gate of extremes and the G center is the center for love and direction. It's also the center for identity. And when this center is open, because it's an identity center, it's very easy for you to have a very malleable sense of who you are. So your identity can change depending on who, you, who you're with. It can change depending on where you are. And so your sense of self is very fluid. Because you have the 15 underneath here, the gate of extremes, it also means that if you're not careful, you will become whoever you're with. And sometimes even in an extreme way, you'll take in somebody's identity so deeply and you may, in an extreme way, really kind of mold yourself in a chameleon-like way to whoever is around you. So one of the things that's really important for you is to recognize that you have got to have alone time. And for you, that 15 energy also is really powerful when you get yourself out in nature. If you have the 15, being connected to the natural world is part of your energy field. And you may find that you have an easier time getting rid of energies that don't belong to you out in nature, go for a walk, go out in the forest, go for a swim in the ocean, whatever. But that connection to nature will help you discharge a lot of the energies or the confusion even sometimes about who you feel yourself to be. On top of that, you are a 1-3 profile. You're a third line energy. So what happens when you're a third line energy is that you have a life path, especially before you're 40, that's all about experimenting and exploring, including experimenting and exploring in nature. and experimenting and exploring with your identity and experimenting and exploring with your life direction your life path so it may be for you that what's really going on here is that you're still experimenting and exploring and maybe there's still learning here about you teasing out whose identity you're really experiencing in the moment 